relation between del t u t and r t right so before del t u t and r t relation you just know one thing integration that means when we integrate any function from this particular between two particular point then there will be a some definite value that is known as definite integral right because when we integrate the ft the function will be in terms of t and we will put the value of t that is t is equals to a and t is equals to b then you will get some constant result that is a k now second case if we are integrating this particular part from a to t ft dt then some the value of the value of integral will be again the function of time that means this one because here a is a constant value and this is a t denotes the time domain so the resultant integral will be the function of time so this concept use here in the relation of del t u t and r t that means when we integrate any function from any initial point to the time domain t then you will get the same uh, different function that will be the function of time okay and it will not be a constant it will be a varying with respect to t so first thing if we are having del t then after integration you will get ut and when we integrate the ut then you will get the ram t and if again you integrate this one then you will get the parabola that means we are integrating del t so this is the impulse this is step this is the ramp and this one is the parabola right now if you make the reverse process that is when we integrate differentiate when we differentiate parabola with respect to t then you will get ram when you differentiate ram function then you will get ut and if you differentiate ut then you will get del t that is the impulse so this is the overall relation between the del t ut and rt or in other way you can say that in other way you can say that ut is equals to minus infinite to t del t dt right so just for your revision purpose ut is equals to minus infinite to t del t dt so if you take this del t minus infinite to infinite del t dt is equals to 1 that is a some constant value that is a definite integral because we are taking the integral for the finite range that is minus infinite to infinite that will be equals to 1 and it will be independent of time t but if you see when we are integrating minus infinite to time domain t for del t then you will get ut not 1 right so there is a difference between this limit and this limit so first thing is this or 
del t is just a differentiation of u t. If you are having the unit step function, then after differentiating, you will get the impulse function. Or it has many significance that you will see in the LTI system because this one is representing the step response and this is the impulse response so we can relate both this much that means impulse response is the this is valid for the LTI system when we discuss the LTI system then this concept will be applicable we can say that impulse response is equals to differentiation of step response or step response is the integral of impulse response right so these two concepts will be applicable for the LTI systems for finding the response okay now that was the relation between the UT and DLT similarly you can also make relation between ut and rt so whenever rt is given so you have to just integrate this ut from minus infinite to t just remember you have to integrate from minus infinite to time domain t then you will get ram or also ut will be equals to dy by dt and rt ut will be the differentiation of the ram signal RT. Okay. Thank you.